Some of you are already using an, a Broadlink RM Pro device to control IR devices, such as a TV, surround sound media center, whatever. But now I'm going to show you how to use it to also control your X10 lights. Hey Google, turn on the lights. Will do. Hey Google, turn off the lights. Sure thing. Okay, so this video is mostly aimed at people who are already using the Broadlink device and an Android TV box as a server to control their IR devices. But now this video is going to show how to control your X10 devices also. And the advantage of this is your computer doesn't need to be on, like another method I showed before that used Trigger CMD. So now your computer can be off and you can either use your phone, which is also another advantage, to control your lights, or you can talk to your Google device. Okay, to get started, we're going to use Broadlink's own software on, the, on your phone, the eControl app. So if you already have it installed, just click on that. And I'll go back to the main screen. We're going to start a new remote, but before I do that, I'm going to show you how I have mine set up. Here's all my different lights programmed in, but notice the descriptions, garage on, garage off. But when you get to longer ones, like living room, you can't see if it's on or off, so you might want to make sure you use different icons to be able to tell on and off. But you'll start by making a new remote. Probably want to use user defined so you can make it how you want to make it. I sort in random. No. Here we add. So here, since I'm making making the switch for turning on, I'm going to use what looks like a power icon. It's just easier to keep track of the button. And I'm going to put living room lights on. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make one more for living room lights off. Okay, now I got my two buttons. I'm going to go out to the living room and show you how to program them in. RM Pro can receive and transmit radio frequencies, such as those used by an X10 transmitter. It could either be one of these wall switches, a keychain remote, uh, one of these universal style remotes, or you could probably even use their USB wireless firecracker device from a PC. The easiest I find is using a remote like this, because you just type in the light code you want to control. For my living room lights, it's 4. And then you can use these buttons to turn on the lights, turn on or off the lights. Okay, so let's start programming them into the Broadlink device. Go to your eControl app. Here we have the buttons where we left off. I want to program in the living room lights on. Down here you can either learn single or learn learn multi combos, just single. And then the next uh, one you have is either learn or sweep frequency. Now this time instead of like an RM, IR device you did uh, just learn, we want to sweep frequencies since this is going to be uh, radio frequencies. So we'll hit that. And while it's waiting, now I hit the on button for my, or sorry, I hold it down. And now you get a pop up here. It says frequency scan. Do you want to learn this button? You'll hit OK. And then it will ask you to hit it one more time. And it doesn't always work the first time, I've noticed. Sometimes you can keep hitting it. There it goes finally. And it says it saved it.
Sometimes it won't work at all and you'll have to do this two times. I don't know why it doesn't seem to be very reliable, but once it's put in and you test it and make sure it works, it works fine afterwards. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time, but uh, now let's program in the off so we can try them both out. Same thing, learn single, sweep frequency, we hit the off. Okay. Hit okay, and now we want to. Okay, it says it learned them both, so let's try them out. Well, the on works, and the off works. So, if you did it like that, you should hopefully have successfully set up your uh, Broadlink uh, E control to control your X10 lights. If it doesn't work the first time, don't be surprised. You might have to do it a couple times. It, I had to do it three times on one of them. Okay, now that you got your X10 devices working from your e-control app, now if you want to go ahead and use voice commands through a Google Home Assistant, Google Home Mini, whatever, I'm gonna link you into a video I already made that uses the the Broadlink device along with an Android TV box. The uh, the only thing is you're gonna it's kind of involved. You're gonna need a few extra things. You're going to need an account on the IFTTT website. That is all free. Uh, you will have to do port forwarding and DNS, which is free. And you also need uh, an app on the Android TV device called the RM plugin. That does cost $4.99 on the Google Play Store. My next video, you can click the link, will show you how to set it all up. And if you're having trouble with DNS and port forwarding, I also made a separate video that goes into a little more depth on that to explain exactly how to do it.